Hello. One of the things that I've been observing these days, uh, I get lots of people who are new to the hobby who are asking questions about a sump and they just don't know where to turn, what it is that they're supposed to be doing with it, or even really what a sump is or its function. So today what I'd like to do is just kind of use my own tank as an example and just kind of cover the basic overview of the purpose of a sump and the way it's set up and what its function and purpose is. So the first thing you're going to notice is that if it's a tank that's pre-drilled and set up to be run as a sump from the get-go from the factory, you're going to notice it has a built-in partition here. That is known as the overflow partition. That's what it looks like from the inside of the tank. Now mine just has the single corner overflow. Sometimes you'll find them in the middle of the tank. Uh, if the tank's big enough, you'll have a dual overflow system. Uh, which will drain down into the sump. So anyways, this is the overflow partition right here. As you can see there, it's got the slots and stuff like that there where the water overflows into it. So on this side, you have the bigger pipe there. It's got the hole in it to keep the, the air bubbles out and stuff and the breather tube there. Uh, this is the drain pipe. And so the drain pipe here runs down through a pre-drilled partition in the main tank down into the sump tank, which is lower here. Now on mine, the piping is a little bit convoluted, so you'll have to excuse me. Um, the piping, as you can see, it comes down in from up there and then runs down through that. It's a flexible hose, which I actually recommend gives a little bit more bend and flex and also it can help prevent bubbles. It's also easier to mount it. You can kind of mount it how you choose to with the, uh, you know, I have a bracket there, you can see. And basically mine runs straight down here into a filter sock. Uh, mine is tied on. I don't actually have the, the baffle platform mount for the filter sock. And as such, it just runs straight into a filter sock that's tied straight to the hose. Now, the next partition, you'll see my sump here has these baffles here that separate and make it into a partition. In the next partition, I have my protein skimmer here. This helps remove excess protein waste materials from your tank. It also helps create additional oxygen and flow for your tank. Uh, I also have this isn't required and you can't see it right now. There is some chato down in there, as you can see from the other video, and of course this is grow light. It's in the off cycle right now. Uh, after that, I have this next partition here, which is a chamber for what is known as rebel rock. That helps reduce the bubbles before they go back to the main tank, so your tank isn't overrun with a bunch of micro bubbles, which can be kind of a pain. So, and you'll notice here, the final partition, that's where I place things like my Chemipure Elite, you can put GFO or whatever you want to there, and the return pump. Now the return pump, it's pretty obvious what it is, it sends it back up through this pipe up here and back up to the main tank, the uh, return pipe and the overflow and then back into the main tank I should say. So anyways. But uh, this one here runs straight down into the protein skimmer, so that's how it gets fed. It actually gets fed off of the return pump pipe. So once again, going back up here, now on the flip side, you have this smaller pipe here, which is, in fact, the return pipe, which then goes over to here, and then you can see that's the return pipe. So this whole system creates a bunch of additional water flow for your system, additional filtration, and that's why they're so highly recommended for, uh, particularly for marine tanks or, or even a larger freshwater tank, is because it increases your water volume, it increases your flow, and of course it just, it gives you more displacement, helps more for having room for error if something goes wrong, you accidentally overfeed or something like that, uh, as well as just creating a good flow for the tank. So anyways, that's kind of the basic principle of how a basic sump works. 
obviously there are many different options with the different partitions, different things that you can put in the tank that will help benefit the sump and will help uh, benefit your tank. But that's just kind of a basic idea of how a very basic sump system works. And that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.